Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan and I teach IELTS here and I teach IELTS everywhere all over the world with my YouTube IELTS videos. Anyways, thank you very much for watching my videos, for sharing my videos and for commenting, liking and all that. You are my real asset. It's all because of you that now people know me in various countries of the world. So thank you very much indeed. Thanks a lot for everything. Uh, anyways, in this video, I'm going to give you some tips about IELTS speaking. And I'm going to give you a list of things. There are 15 things you should not do in your IELTS speaking test if you want to get good band score. You know, sometimes there are certain things you have to do to get good band score. Sometimes there are certain things you don't do or you should not do to get a good band score. So I'm going to tell you around 15 to 16 things. If you avoid those, you may get good band score. The first thing is don't speak with those candidates who are coming out of their examination center, especially for speaking. Sometimes, you know, you want to know what are they asking, what type of questions. The examiners, they have a portfolio of IELTS speaking questions. They have a huge portfolio of IELTS speaking questions, section 1, section 2, section 3. They've got a huge list of questions. So it's not that. And the same day, usually they don't repeat the questions. So if you're going to ask them, what are they asking? What was the topic of cue card? That will never happen with you. They have hundreds of cue cards. They can present any other cue card. And by the way, this is wrong. I mean, it, it, is, it is a sort of a thing. If you ask other candidates after the speaking test, what came and what did they ask? This can make you disqualify for IELTS exam as well. So be very careful. Next, don't simply reply with yes or no. You need to add detail. You need to give long answers. Don't just say yes or no answers. You have 11 to 14 minutes for IELTS speaking test. An examiner has to talk to you for around 11 to 14 minutes. So if you just answer in yes, no, then how many times can you say yes, no in 11 to 14 minutes? You can well imagine. Next, don't interrupt the examiner. Don't interrupt them. Don't interrupt them while they are asking you the questions. Don't ask anything from the examiner. Don't comment about anything. Okay, don't just try to communicate or try to talk to the examiner during the test because they are recording your voice and there are certain standards of procedures they have to follow. So don't interrupt the examiner. Don't try to give a prepared talk, especially in speaking part two. Don't try to give a prepared talk. Try to speak naturally. Try to speak spontaneously. All right, you got to give a talk to the examiner. Don't just give a prepared talk because examiners are experienced people. They get to know when you are speaking and when you are recalling something from your memory. So be careful. Do not try to give a prepared talk in any section of IELTS. Don't make negative comments about your life, about your education and other things. You should be positive. Now, for example, if they ask you about your country and you start talking against your country, right? If they ask you about friends, they say, oh, friends are the selfish people. Nowadays, nobody is your friend. Everyone is a selfish person. <laughs> okay? Don't start anything. Don't tell them that you are a hopeless person. You are a disappointed person and all that. So don't make any negative comments. Next, try, don't try to impress the examiner with big words, with flowery words, with difficult words, right? So examiner will not be impressed. Examiner will be depressed. And that depression of the examiner will come in front of you in the form of your result after 10 working days. So be careful. Try not to impress the examiner with big flowery words, especially when you don't know how to use those big flowery words accurately in your language. Remember, the marking criteria for speaking is they should be fluent communication. And those big words, those unusual words 
can be a hurdle in good communication so that's why don't learn unusual words which are not the part of current english or present english the next is don't digress now don't digress means don't speak of or away from the topic digression or digress means you go away from the topic the question is for example if they say what do you do in your free time well in my free time i drive my sports car i have a very nice sports car my brother also has another sports car and my brother is a very good driver he has two sports cars and he drives very fast he is a wonderful driver and he has won many championships in sports car racing and all that he is awesome he is tall and handsome what was the topic what do you do in your free time so don't digress from the topic you need to answer according to the topic next avoid slangs there are some slangs in american english and british english and all that don't use slangs try to use standard english standard english which is spoken and understood all over the world you should try to speak that english and don't give up it's very important uh, if you get stuck the examiner might be able to help you but don't give up don't just say okay in speaking part 2 especially sometimes students give up the examiners give them the positive gestures to please carry on carry on carry on they don't talk they don't speak but they give the positive gesture right and you give up my english is finished or in punjabi say hor ki kama or in punjabi like you know the little babies say ammi bas okay so please be be careful do not give up in your ielts test don't say enough enough okay if it is speaking part 2 you got to speak up to a level when examiner says that's okay right if examiner is doing this and you are doing this you'll not be getting the good band score okay the next don't is don't use too many pause fillers pause fillers like that is an interesting question i am glad you asked me this question i was expecting that question these are the pause fillers so don't use too many <coughs> so don't use too many pause fillers other pause fillers are like uh 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 and all that so there are some pause fillers which are the sentences there are some pause fillers which are the sounds you should avoid that don't ask examiner for your band score now you don't need to ask examiner examiner will never tell you your band score don't try to see what examiners are writing sometimes some students they tell me ah oh, sir i don't know but examiner wrote eight on the paper and the, that guy was very happy i would be getting eight bands because i saw examiner clearly writing eight and that was actually 8th of january on that day okay so please be careful be careful don't try to read anything don't try to guess your band score don't ask the examiner because result of the test will be announced one day the examiners cannot tell you the result of the test don't ask for comments or how was my test madam they are very friendly but it doesn't mean you start making relationship with them they will not allow you for anything okay don't tell the examiner that you are nervous just try to behave confidently try to look confident try to answer confidently and all that don't tell the examiner how relieved you are the test is over don't say the test is finished oh thank god se appa finished oh, i'm so happy finished na really finished na oh, thank god don't do that okay don't tell the examiner that oh god i'm relieved thank god my test is finished thank god it's over don't do that okay and don't slouch you know it's a position you sit on the chair don't sit in a slouch position on the chair try to sit actively when you are answering the questions of the examiner don't sit in a slouch position uh use an open posture don't sit with your hands crossed don't sit like that okay please ask your question all right well in my free time i often go outside with my friends and i like this activity very much and sometimes i stay home what is your next question okay i would like to answer this question so don't sit like this 
you should talk like this okay and then I just go out sometimes I stay home but I think I love going outside especially at the weekends talk like this okay don't speak to the recording machine now you know there is the recording machine over there and you saw the examiner <laughs> pressing the button of the recording machine now recording machine is lying there and you just say okay in my free time I just go outside with my friends and that's you say oh that's a nice recording machine <laughs> don't do that talk to the examiner don't try to observe examiner's business let them do their business let them do their job let them do their protocols and all that don't observe that don't try to see that don't try to say oh you are the examiner great IELTS examiner wow lovely you are examiner oh really it's it's a great honor for me that I am meeting IELTS examiner pay the money again and meet the examiner again pay the money third time and meet the examiner so don't do anything like that thank you very much that's all if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel I'm so tired I've got a headache now and I deserve your like I deserve your comment and I deserve your subscription to my channel I've been recording for five six hours now and now I'm feeling really tired but anyways I am energetic as usual so if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my this channel and my other channel Asad Yaqub Vlogs I also teach IELTS online if you want to join my online IELTS classes you can contact me for that Asad Yaqub wishes you a fantastic band score in IELTS speaking take good care of yourselves Allah Hafiz